Depending on the possible print sizes of the printer you are using, you need to specify the cell size. After that it is necessary to set the size of the mosaic according to the characteristics of the picture that will be collected. Depending on your printer settings, you can adjust the exact paper size using tenths of a cell size. Also in this window you must specify the degree of transparency of the overlay image. The closer to 1 the less transparency. The closer to 0 the more transparency. The next setting is a setting of the photo crop method. There are two methods first crop a photo to recognize a face. This method is more correct but sometimes slower than the second method. The second method crop the photo relative to the center. The next step is to indicate the paths to the hot folders, the work folder and the image that will be collected in the mosaic. We recommend that you do not use spaces in folder names. We must first indicate the path to the main folder, and only after that indicate the path to the image to be collected. The next step is printer settings and cell printing settings. In the drop down list, Select the printer that is used by default on Windows. We recommend that you specify the DPI specified in the printer settings. Most often this value is 300. In this window you can also specify the size and colors of the address of the cell that will be specified when printing. For some printers, printing indents are required. The print start point assumes the upper left corner of the paper. Sweeps will go from the upper left corner. In order to understand what the value of cutoffs will be enough, you need to make test prints. When the basic settings are done, you can start collecting the mosaic. Click on the button Create a new mosaic. Sometimes when you use a very large image for example, more than 3000 cells and if you are using a non-powerful computer, you must make sure that the software was able to prepare the cells. Let us illustrate how the mosaic is assembled. When you get into the hot photo folder, our software automatically crop the photo and overlays the image. The path to the hot folder can be any. You can use for example folders of your photo booth. In order for the cells to be automatically printed you need to check the auto print box. You can control how many empty cells are left using the indicators at the top of the window. In case there are few people at the event and you understand that you do not have time to collect the necessary number of cells. You can use the fill in copies function. Just specify the number of copies needed and the software will automatically add the filled cells to the wall. To use the digital mosaic function, click on the add screen button. Drag the window that appeared on the screen where you want to display live and click the start here button. Software automatically made a full screen mode, for close a second screen just press escape. Currently only one animation is possible. But in the future, animations will be added and slightly modified. In order to proceed to the next functions, fill our mosaic to the end. You can delete an unnecessary cell by simply clicking on the cell and pressing the delete cell button. You can also reprint a cell just click on the print cell button. In order to export the final image, you need to click on the pause mosaic button, change the tabs in the software, return to the live window and the export full picture button will appear at the bottom. Specify the path where to save the image and it is saved. Be careful, if you click the stop mosaic button, all photos and cells will be deleted. If you want to make mosaic backup for reliability, just click the save mosaic button. Please note that preparing a backup file takes some time. And only if you made a backup, you can continue the mosaic after clicking the stop button. In other cases, the stop button deletes all files. Let's move on to the last main function of our software. 
preparation and export of a file for printing a physical stand. The billboard window duplicates completely the settings that were specified when creating the mosaic. Additionally, you can change the sizes between cells, the color of the lines of the table, the color of the background for printing, the color of the lines and the color of the text. After preparation just export to the desired format and send to the designer to prepare the physical stand. Be sure to make sure that the cell size that will be printed with the cell size on the physical stand. That's all. If you have questions send us an email.